Hey there, Abiding Fam, and welcome back to my channel for another flip through of my Abiding Journal. My Abiding Journal is my daily journal where I creative journal to document my life. And in today's flip through, we are going to be flipping through all of my June entries for 2021, which means we have been documenting every day for half of an entire year. That is six months here in this journal, and I am so excited to share with you all of the entries from June, but if you haven't seen all of the entries that I've shared here previously on my channel, I do have flip-throughs for all of the other months from January through May, so I would encourage you to check out this playlist up here in the cards to see all of the other spreads I've created. And then you can come back here for a peek at all of the pages I created for the month of June. So here is where we left off in May, which brings us to June 1st over here on the right. And this is a very simple entry that really just focuses on the journaling itself with a few little embellishments. The centerpiece of this page is this really beautiful journaling card that is actually a printable available on my Patreon page. So this is a printable as well as the hand lettering that you see here up in the corner that says find the extraordinary in the ordinary and Great Day down here. These are all from the same printable set. I put out monthly collections of printable stickers over on my Patreon page. It's a great way to support my channel and get fun embellishments for your journaling, and I, of course, like to use them in my journaling as well. So I used these as well as this umbrella illustration since it did rain on this day. That is also a printable. And otherwise, I just did a little doodle and used a few little butterfly stickers to decorate this page. June 2nd was a vacation day for me. I actually had the first two weeks about of June off from work, which was such a relaxing treat. And on this day, I really treated myself by indulging in a really nice cup of coffee. So I used this journaling card that says all you need is love and a strong cup of coffee and then a few little stickers uh, to document that as well. And then this piece here is actually the top of a coffee bag that comes from Beanbox, which is a coffee subscription that I love. They have such good coffee, and I really like that they give you little samples so you can try different coffees and just taste test different ones to see what you like. And at the top, they have these really cute little sayings that say, good morning, sunshine. And so I just ripped that off to get to the coffee, obviously, but then chose to keep that and stick it into my journal as a cute little embellishment. And if you are at all interested in Beanbox, this is not in any way sponsored by them, but I do have a referral code down below for $5 off your first month. So if that interests you, if you are a coffee lover, I love them and highly recommend them. And then I also did do some catch-up journaling on this day, so I used some cute little stickers of the journal and the pencil and a stack of washi tape to document a nice relaxing day off. And then over on June 3rd, this day is really centered around the time that I made homemade falafel. Another subscription service that I've really enjoyed is Artsa, which is basically a box of curated handcrafted items from Israel so that you can get to know the Holy Land, which I think is such a neat concept. And their boxes are on a quarterly basis. So for this quarter, the location that they focused on was Jerusalem. And in the box, they had this really cool spice mix called Zatar Spice and a recipe to make Zatar bread, which kind of ended up being like a pita bread. So I decided that I would make homemade falafel and use all of the herbs from my garden to do that. And it turned out so good. So I made a little tip-in of the photo and then on the back, I have a journaling card with another photo of the falafel cooking, and then the recipe is underneath that. 
And then I just did a tiny bit of journaling and then had some more photos of the falafel. My entry for June 4th is very centered around what I am currently reading and so I was able to play with another printable collection of mine which is a reading theme collection. So this currently reading sticker up here as well as the little book stack, the really cute support your local library sticker at the bottom. I love that one and a fun fact about this one is that I used my annual patrons so you can join for an annual membership and get 10% off when you do so to become a patron and I thought it would be fun to use my annual members at that time as the names that I put on the little library card so that's just a little fun fact about that printable sticker and then this happiness is a warm patch of sunshine and a good book. And that basically just documents the fact that I had started reading A Tale of Two Cities and I'm sitting out in my wonderful oasis, which is just my little porch. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know all about my oasis. I talk about it a lot in my stories. And I do a lot of other behind the scenes stuff about just my life over on Instagram, especially in the stories. So if that interests you at all, you can check me out at my abiding journal over there as well. And then this was a fun little thing where I just use a washi strip and a black pen over it to do a rating for the book that I finished, which was an audiobook, and that was The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. And I really enjoyed that as well. And so just did some journaling about my day and also the books that I read on that day. The fifth is a very simple page that really centers around this awesome little acetate piece that is a number. I got this in a Tuesday morning haul that I shared over on Instagram Live. And then just some stickers, the little house, because I visited my parents on that day, so I did some hand lettering to represent that. And just lots of fun summer vibes and fun colors on that entry. The 6th of June documents one of my favorite days of the entire month. We woke up really early and went birding with a friend and just had the best time. We saw more than 50 different species of birds, which was a lot. We were really proud of hitting that number that we were able to identify and just had an awesome time. We also saw a milk snake, which was really exciting, and we saw a snapping turtle who was laying her eggs, which was so incredibly cool, just an awesome experience. And so I made a little collage of my photos and then taped them back to back because of course I had a lot of photos from that day that I wanted to highlight and show off all of the fun species we had seen and I took a bunch of photos using my good camera so I had a lot of fun doing that and being a little wildlife photographer for the day and so in my pic collage app I just go and make collages and then print them out using my Canon selfie. I do have a video all about how I print out photos for my journaling so I would encourage you to check that out if you haven't already. And then I love some of the little elements on this page. This sticker here that says an early morning walk is a blessing for the whole day is one that I've been coveting for a long time because I was saving it for the perfect moment that would actually represent that quote. I really wanted to use this on a page where I truly went on an early, early morning walk. And this day, was finally the perfect day to use that sticker on so I love that and then I have this little camera up here since like I said I took a bunch of photos on this day of course the bird sticker because we went birding and then this one as well is one I've been saving for a long time for the perfect day and it is a quote by John Burroughs that says I go to nature to be soothed and healed and to have my senses put in tune once more, which absolutely represents this morning as well. And then this beautiful sticker is by Brie over at Documented Journey, and she is an amazing artist. I love this sticker so much, and it represents everything about Middle Creek, where 
we went birding. It's an awesome wildlife area around us, and it looks a lot like that little illustration. The mountains aren't quite as big as she has them in that, but the flowers and the little paths, and it's just a beautiful area. So I love her sticker. Here is another one of hers that I am saving for the perfect occasion where I might be stargazing. And if you're not familiar with Brie at Documented Journey, she is the artist behind these gorgeous journal covers. So I have videos all about these journal covers as well that are made of cork, and this is what I use for my abiding journal. It's just so beautiful. I love the little flex in it. So she creates these as well as stickers and some other fun items in her shop. And then on June 7th, I took my staycation to another location. So my friends have a little tiny house on their property. It's a guest house that they created for their in-laws and others to stay in when they're there and need a place to stay. But it is also a great opportunity for me to have a little vacation kind of in my own backyard, technically in their backyard, and just have a getaway without having to really travel. And at this time, they were in Hawaii, so I also was sort of house-sitting for them and taking care of their garden. But they have a pool, and the tiny house is so nicely done and just absolute luxury. So I was able to stay there for a few days and my mom was able to join me as well for two of those days. So I just made a fun little collage that's kind of made cohesive by the color palette, which is a good way when you want to incorporate a lot on a page to make it not look so crazy, but to be able to make it more purposeful and intentional is to just try to stick with one color in all of the embellishments that you're adding. So I made a collage with all of the different photos for that day and then used a lot of different lettering and kept using the same alpha stickers as well as all of the vacationing related stickers are from the same sticker pack as well. And then of course some little leaves and just feel like this really has some good vacation vibes and then some journaling at the bottom talking about our wonderful first day staying in the tiny house and relaxing by the pool and then we went out for a delicious dinner it was so so good and finished it off with a lavender honey creme brulee that was to die for so this was just such a good day and then on the next day for June 8th we went to a little coffee shop so I kept part of their little brochure that they had at the coffee shop to stick in my journal always a good tip when you're traveling even if you're traveling locally is to grab brochures or business cards or even menus and napkins so that you can stick into your journal and then otherwise this is really all about being lazy and relaxing because that was our day I also had a lot of fun on this trip. One of my big focuses was working on my book. So I'm an author, if you don't know, and I'm currently working on my third novel. So that was a big focus for me. So I put a little pencil sticker on there and wrote Author Life in my white gel pen from Arteza. That is the best white gel pen in the world. Highly recommend Arteza white gel pens if you're in the market for one. And then here on June 9th, I kind of wanted to tone down the page a little bit more and make use of more negative space since a lot of my other pages so far this month were very busy. And so I just kind of made a little box of the stickers and photos I wanted to use as the embellishments on this page and then my journaling in another box and then to tie it together I wrote out the words time for alone time, making time in both instances the same font so that it kind of has some nice cohesion for the hand lettering. But at this point, my mom left 
but I stayed one more night in the tiny house by myself, so that's why I wrote out time for alone time because I am an introvert and I do like my time to myself, and so that was just really nice to enjoy that. And then the next morning, I did some more writing by the pool, and this is a nice layout as well where I did all my journaling down the side, and then the date is pretty big up here at the top. And then I have my one central photo with some quote stickers around it and some florals to tie it all together. But again, the color palette just makes it look very cohesive using the yellow. And then this entry for the 11th is quite simple. I just used some floral stickers to decorate the page. I did hand letter a quote here at the bottom from Louisa May Alcott because we watched Little Women on this day and it just says I like good strong words that mean something. And then I did space out the journaling since I didn't have quite as much to say on this day, but I do also love the look of it just being a little bit more spaced out. This entry is a great example of not needing a lot of supplies to make a really pretty entry. All of the embellishments you see on this entry are from the same sticker book, and because of that, it automatically looks cohesive when you use the same sticker book to decorate your page because they use the same colors. They even use all of the same foils, so there's a lot of foil in these ones. So pretty. The nice rose gold foil. And so I just used the little block stickers and spaced them out and just offset them a little bit from each other. And then also decorated the page with just two little photos and some other stickers from that same sticker book. And then beyond that, the only other thing I brought onto this page was my pen to write out June and Saturday, and of course my journaling on these two stickers here. So I really love the simplicity of this entry and also a great example of a very, very quick entry to put together because it literally was just putting down stickers and then writing my journaling over top. This entry over here documents a sweet Sunday where we went to visit Ben's Nana after church. And so I just really documented a photo of her and my husband Ben together and then just used a bunch of little stickers and washi tape and fun little embellishments including this really beautiful little doily piece to just frame the photo of them together and really make it pop on the page and I took my cues from the shirt that she's wearing with the yellow in it and the flowers to build out the rest of the page and then the rest of this page is really just my journaling. In the next few pages I start to break my pages up a little bit more to put multiple days on one page. That's something I tend to do a lot more during work days where I don't have as much to talk about. So unfortunately on this Monday, June 14th, I went back to work and so I aptly used the stickers that say I wish I had more vacation days and hey Monday, how about no? And so for this entry, I also wanted to practice some gratitude to remind myself of all of the blessings that come with having work to return to. So I used this sticker that says counting my blessings and mostly for my journaling this day, just wrote out a few things to be grateful for. And then I divided the page using a strip of washi tape and then created basically another little entry down here separate from this one that focuses just on the 15th. And on this day, I had a dentist appointment, so I used some cute little tooth stickers and had some morning coffee before the dentist, but of course brushed my teeth in between. And then this great You Are Pretty sticker because I felt very pretty after waiting far too long to go to the dentist. Definitely not going to let that much time pass again between me and a good teeth cleaning. And then on these two entries, I again divided the page in half using some washi and just played with a bunch of stickers and did a little bit of doodling and hand lettering to document these days, but they were mostly just work days where I was talking about 
the joy of working from home, especially on beautiful days like we had in mid-June where I was able to sit out on our deck and enjoy the garden and work in that sunny, beautiful environment. And then June 18th brings us back to the weekend, so I have a nice little weekend sticker up here. And then this piece doesn't really fit with my normal journaling style, having a skull, but that's because it is from the play that we went to see. This was the program for Shakespeare in the Park presenting Hamlet. And so I, of course, wanted to include that in here, and then I did some lettering of to be or not to be, that famous line from Shakespeare. And that was just such a fun experience, and it's just a really cool community thing that they put on for free. And so that is documenting that day, and I also finished another audiobook. So I have a little photo of the book jacket up here. And Ben's mom is actually a huge Shakespeare fan. So we invited her to go see this with us and she stayed over at our house. And then the next day we went to breakfast together at a little cafe called Brownstone. And so I just used a bunch of fun stickers to document that and have a nice little photo of Ben and his mom together enjoying breakfast. And this little cafe sticker is actually one of my older printables before I even had an iPad and used Procreate, which is what I do all of my drawings in now. I do them digitally. Before that, I was drawing them by hand on just plain paper and then trying to scan them. And it was a mess of a process, honestly. But that is actually one of the old printables. So if you are OG patrons and were around when these first came out. Thank you so very much. And then June 20th was Father's Day, so have a super fun sunny page for that and a nice photo of me and my dad here in the center and just some other little memories from this day. We got a surprise fireworks show from our neighbors who were celebrating Juneteenth. And at the bottom here I used my latest printable sticker from my summer favorites collection and this was perfect to have document the first day of summer. And then over here I kind of did a fun thing for the work week Monday through Wednesday where I put down a bunch of the little elements I wanted to use, so I put down these stickers to do the dates on, this little Monday sticker I had printed out, and just a few other embellishments and photos. And then in the empty space, I basically traced around the embellishments I had put onto the page to create little boxes for me to do my journaling in so that I created three boxes, one for Monday, one for Tuesday, and one for Wednesday to do my journaling in. So just another different kind of layout to switch things up. On the 24th, I did some writing and again enjoyed some beanbox coffee and in this case I put the little picture of the label from the specific coffee that I had on this day. And then something a little different that I did on this day is that instead of doing straight journaling about my day, I let the photos and the embellishments speak for themselves and then actually put down a little poem that I read on this day. And the poem is called Strawberry Moon by Franny Choi. And on this day, there was a beautiful strawberry moon that we went outside and just admired for a long moment, just praising God for his glory and how amazing the world is that he's created. And the strawberry moon was just so beautiful. So I thought it fitting to put this poem on here that was called Strawberry Moon, even though the poem itself, if you go and read it, doesn't actually have anything to do with the moon. It still does talk a lot about just a beautiful summer moment, so I just thought it was beautifully written and was a fun thing to add into my journal to switch things up. And then on the 25th, I used this fun little camera and smile stickers because I took some photos for a friend and I got some bubble tea afterward and just treated myself. So 
that is really all that day documents. And then over here on Saturday, I also talked a lot about this day over on Instagram as well because Ben was away, so I had the day to myself and was playing around in my garden and got some tomatoes and made the tomato feta basil pasta that I guess was famous because of TikTok for a little while, but it just seemed like a good recipe and easy, so I made that and it was on point, very delicious and very easy to make. And then I enjoyed some strawberry wine and I kept the label from the wine bottle, which has a cool little metallic feature to it. I just thought the label was super pretty and made sure to hold on to it. As I said on my Instagram post featuring this entry, no beautiful paper product is safe in this household. <laughs> if it is pretty and able to be peeled off, it will end up in my journal. And then here on Sunday was a very, very exciting day for me. And I made that very bold and visible here on the page because I hit 100 thousand words in my first draft of my manuscript which as this little illustration which is also one of the super old illustrations from my patreon way back in the day as this says it always seems impossible until it is done and that number is definitely one that seemed impossible to hit and I cannot believe I've finally done it and I made sure to use my gold metallic watercolors to really bring the moment to life and capture how I felt like a million bucks when I hit that number or at least a hundred thousand bucks. So I was super stoked about that and have a little photo here of hitting the word count in my Scrivener file and then also of my Barnes & Noble Frappuccino because I spent some time writing there on that day. And then this is just a fun little sticker that has nothing to do with this entry but is pretty so I put it on here. That's something I'm trying to get better at. I usually really like for everything I put on the page to have to do with specific memories related to that page rather than just things being pretty. and putting them on the page for the sole value of them being aesthetic and beautiful. So I'm trying to get better about doing that. So I just put the sticker here because I liked it and that is okay too. And then here for the last three days of June is a really beautiful aesthetic entry that kind of brings me back to my bullet journaling days in its layout where I have the days of the week written on washi tape in white gel pen. I used some gold number stickers to put the days on there. And then down the side, I did a really pretty background effect using a little patterned stencil and some stamp ink with a baby wipe to get that really cool effect of blending the two colors. And then over top of it, used my Elsa stencils to write out the month, of course, of June. And otherwise, I put this little bee sticker here and some hearts and this little flower and then did my journaling under each day. And that is that finished entry. And I love the way that it turned out. And that actually is all of the entries for June. So I hope that you've enjoyed this flip through, that it inspired you and makes you want to get into your own journals. Just because we are six months into the year doesn't mean you can't join us at any point in time. We have a whole second half of the year to document and I would encourage you to join us in that journey and to use the hashtag over on Instagram to share with us you documenting your own abiding memories. The hashtag we are using is myabidingjournal2021. And when you use that hashtag, you have the potential to be featured in my flip through videos. And so right now we are going to take a peek at some of the entries you have shared in your abiding journals. so 
much joy to see you guys documenting your lives and exploring your creativity. And while I really enjoy doing this practice just on my own, there is something so special about having a community around us who can appreciate all of the pretty paper goodness and stationery and just get the value of documenting our lives. So I hope that you were inspired by all of their amazing spreads and that my flip through has given you some inspiration as well. If it did, please do give this video a big thumbs up and join the Abiding Fam if you're not already by hitting that subscribe button down below and make sure you turn the notification bell on so you get notified when all of my future videos come out. And if you want to support my channel even more, I would love for you to leave a comment letting me know what your favorite entry was. And if it interests you, I'd love to see you over on Patreon where you can get access to all of the fun printables that I have over there. I put out new ones every month that my patrons get to vote on. And I also have exclusive videos over there. And when you join, you get access to everything I've already created on there. So as soon as you join, there is so much content over there for you to enjoy and download and play with right away in your journals. So I would love for you to check it out at patreon.com slash myabidingjournal and help me hit my next goal of 100 patrons. But that is all I have for you today in my abiding journal, but I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith, hope, and love. Thank you.